75 years in a 10-year window. Who the heck runs their businesses like that? Nobody. They were trying to kill the unions, and the Republicans are doing everything they can to kill that voting block. I'm joined tonight by Bernie Sanders of Vermont, who worked very hard on this bill. Senator, I hope you saved 200,000 jobs. I don't know how much cooperation you're going to get from the House, but I want to go right to the money. In this bill, what about the pre-funding requirement? What happens to that in the Senate bill? We made significant progress on that, Ed. Uh, what happens is, as you pointed out, uh, right now the Postal Service pays $5.5 billion every single year, which is really quite crazy. No other entity in America comes anywhere close to having that kind of burden. What we did is two things. We reduced the 5.5 to 3.5, but we also said the Postal Service can take three and a half billion dollars three billion dollars i'm sorry out of the fund the, re, the uh, re employee retirement fund to pay for current retiree benefits which means they will be spending five and a half billion dollars less on retiree health care right now that is a significant step forward and will help the postal service furthermore because the postal service was overpaying into overpaid into the retirement system we brought them back another eleven billion dollars uh, which will also help them so we made some progress in those areas all right uh... congressman daryl isa who was the lead sponsor of a post office bill over in the house he called the senate bill wholly unacceptable and it's going to be dead on arrival in the house i mean this is going to launch right into a huge election year issue because the house isn't going to do anything about it uh... if if they follow his line of thinking your thoughts at this point i'm not not sure that ICER is quite right. What we did in this bill, uh, we came from a position where the Postmaster General wanted to shut down 3,700 rural post office, shut down half of the mail processing plant yeah. in this country. What we said is, sorry, you can't do that. We protected rural post offices. We protected many, not all, of the mail processing plants. I think what Mr. ICER is going to find is that he has a lot of rural Republicans who are legitimately concerned about preserving their post offices and their rural communities, and I'm not so sure that they agree with him. This is a winning issue for the Democrats. Again, I go back to the theme of the show. You stand with workers you can't lose. You stand with workers you will win. What do you well, think? I, th I think that in the middle of a recession, the idea of uh, downsizing the Postal Service by 200,000 decent paying jobs makes no sense at all. So again, we did not go as far as I would have liked, but we did save tens and tens of thousands of jobs. I think the American people understand that, and I think the pressure is now going to be on the House to follow what we did and yeah. produce something meaningful. And I think this would be a good platform for the Democrats to run on, Senator, and that is we hear the Republicans say that if they get in and get the majority, they're going to repeal Obamacare is what they call it. How about the Democrats coming out and say, you know, if we get the power back legislatively, we're going to turn this post office issue around because this is good for small business and it should have never gone down this road in the first place. This is absolutely vitally important to small business. Ed, there are approximately 8 million jobs connected to a strong and effective postal service. Yeah. So this is important for our economy, and I think you're quite right. This is a major political issue. Do you stand with small business? Do you stand with the veterans who are working in the uh, postal service right now? Do you stand with the American economy, or are you into downsizing, 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 and laying off tens of thousands of workers? Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, always there for the worker. Great to have you with us tonight. Thanks so much. Lots Thank more coming up in the next half hour of The Ed Show. Stay right with us. Is